relationships don't always work even if you do get married even if you do have children with someone and you're married um you might not want to stay with somebody what if they cheat or what if someone passes away or what if you just grow apart it's an extreme because it's a fail. It's a form of failure. Yeah, but your this, kids are your kids are being separated, separated from that's the pretty parents. Extreme. Your house is broken, and, it's, it's, and you see why the society is why is today. Man, the fact that we can look at it, the, the, the fact Come that on, we can look at marriage today and look at it as not extreme says something about our own. No, people. Bruiser. Now you try to pant your Bruiser. You that's good. That's well, he good first work. of all good he work. came from the sideline to help work. you with an attack, so I had to no, deal with him accordingly. I didn't need his help. I didn't need his help. All I'm saying is, you made yourself look bad enough, sir. I don't know. No, 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 you still haven't debunked my point. I absolutely did. I dropped the mic on my my statement towards Sweeney was I I feel like if you're gonna be a stepdad in today's society, given this given the epidemic, given the single mother household uh, fatherless crisis, I'd say that's that's a good thing because of the kids, because the kids are are gonna do better with a man in the household. I still stand on that. Why are you acting know. like it's not an epidemic, Israel? He said an epidemic. He didn't say no oh. damn epidemic. I, I wanna, epidemic. You're being petty. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'm not I'm being petty. Like he was being petty when he tried to do like this on me. That, What'd that you say, petty. Nicole? Go ahead, Nicole. Um, I was going nice to make though. a comment about nah, uh, stepfathers um, because I was raised by a stepfather, but I just wanted to say that there are a lot of different factors that come into play um, with women and children. And when you're dealing with a woman that uh, is no longer with the child's father, there may be multiple reasons as to why the woman isn't with the child's father. And um, I have witnessed a lot of different circumstances where I had a friend who was pregnant with her child's father and engaged and her child's father passed away while she was pregnant. So in instances like that, You know, or what if you get married to someone and they cheat on you? Or what if, I mean, it's like when a woman is pregnant, what would we do? Just get an abortion because like, you know, we have the children, we make the decision to have the children. There would be no, no society, no earth without women having children. If every woman on the planet earth decided, oh, I don't want to have any more children, then we wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation right now. So I just feel like stepfathers should be a norm. I'm not saying that you should have five baby daddies by multiple different men and no financial stability. But what I'm saying is life happens. And I feel like men should be more uh, value women more, even if they do have children, because at the end of the day, you know, life happens. That's just how I look at that. When it comes to stepfathers, relationships don't always work. Um, you know, for most. I, I agree with you that life happens, but I don't think it happens on a scale to where that story that you're trying to argue with is is what's actually causing the demise of uh, the father not being in the house. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is that relationships don't always work, even if you do get married, even if you do have children with someone and you're married. Um, you might not want to stay with somebody. What if they cheat or what if someone passes away or what if you just grow apart? You know, do you just stay with someone because you have children? Uh, some people do. Right. Some people work it out for the sake I don't, of children. I don't think that that's I don't I wouldn't stay with someone if I'm not. Happy well, see, that's that's have- you asking would we do it? And then you saying that you wouldn't do it. So it's, it's that's two different questions. So if no, you say, I understand we understand that saying. you won't do it. But I'm, I'm saying that there's people out there that's actually trying to work their marriages out. Me personally, I don't. If we have children, I'm not gonna. I, I'm still not gonna stay with you if I'm not happy. I'm just not. Mm. That's a whole not. another conversation. That's, and and that's no the reason. Thing. If I'm not happy, bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the children are gonna grow up and go live their lives. Israel, Israel, let me let me have this. They're gonna grow up and go live their lives. Nicole, Nicole, here's here's the problem with this thing. Here's the problem with what you're saying. You're saying shit happens, right? And you're saying, yes, but you're, you're putting the onus on the men to say, oh, they need to have this level of grace. But the reason why all the men on this panel have the problems that they have with being stepfathers and being and stepping in, in that role is because now being a stepfather is no longer a respected role. I'm not saying that that, that's that's not a respect. I'm just explaining to you. I'm saying that men 
shouldn't look at women any different just because they may have children from a prior. But you have to understand condition. why they're doing it. <laughs> this is where I have to come in on Israel and Fatty's defense is because if you understand why men feel this way, you will see that a lot of the problems arise from. Well, women the feel the way they feel about men because men are cheaters. Men are liars. Uh oh, here we go. Are... Here we go. No, no, no. 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 what? It's a two way street. Nicole, you can't. Men don't want to ever take acknowledgement hey, of their behavior. So, how did we get Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let them, let them have it. Let them talk. Let them talk. <laughs> they never want to take acknowledgement, but they Nicole. always want to look Nicole. at, oh, Nicole. Nicole. Well, maybe you can't. Hold on, hold on, Chanel. I got this. Wait, stop cutting her off. Wait, stop cutting her off. You're being rude to her. Nicole, you do know that men and women cheat at the same rates, right? No, so, I know, but I'm saying as a matter of fact, it's been said that women cheat, cheat more. more. So Nicole, let me, Nicole are you talking hold about on, hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all. So that's <laughs> Queenie Nicole. I feel men cheat more. No, like, like, women okay. cheat okay. more. Congratulations. So we there's more, more there's more women in the world though. I, no, he's more that's probably why they cheat more. No, it's more they have more yeah. options. You're saying they have more options out there, so they but, cheat but, more. But the thing is, Nicole, you sounded very personal. Why are you talking about your ex? No, I'm not talking about my. Well, you're talking I'm about talking who? About Why are you talking about? That I have seen throughout my life. I'm 28 years old, and yeah, I'm a PhD. Seen okay, congratulations. Multiple oh. people huh? go through what I'm talking about. Even yeah, but me, but you not never just had the man that loved you people. and didn't cheat on you and didn't trick you. You never had it. Well, I mean, I think everybody's been cheated on before. So here, here's a here's a better question. Nicole, how, be a, be how should a how should a man look at a woman? Who's got mobile to multiple uh children by multiple baby fathers? I only have one baby father, and I'm very mm -hmm. well educated, and I'm okay. engaged right now to this day. So okay, I mean, so I well, have well, to answer his question. So, so you, know, you, you didn't answer anything. anything. It, that question must have tricked you. You, you directed yeah, it straight to you. I know. Yeah, I'm just saying that asked. I don't have multiple baby daddies because well, I, well, I wasn't I asking you. I wasn't asking you. I said, how should a man? You. How should a man look at a woman that has baby uh has kids? Um, well, I mean, I just feel like I've seen men be with women that have multiple children. But multiple you didn't women. answer the question. You know? I'm How trying could to they answer look at it, but you're hey, we lost that. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let her answer the question. Uh, Bruza just phrased okay, it one more time. <laughs> Congratulations. So, so I have seen men be with women that have multiple children by multiple men. And my perspective on that is that when women have children with multiple men, they should still be, they deserve to be loved. Hold on, hold on. Okay, they, so everybody I, deserves to on, be loved. On, like nope. their circumstances. We all are human. We all make mistakes and we all deserve to be loved. That's, that's true. But that, well, that wasn't the question. I mean, because I've seen, that's, I've seen men be with a woman who. That's my oh. perspective and that's my answer. Oh, Lord. All right, so Bruce, you're saying multiple. multiple. Okay, you said multiple. So now you're saying someone had multiple mistakes, and someone like that is supposed to get multiple chances. Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is there are different factors. When you out on the outside looking in, you don't know what this person has been through. You don't know the reason as to why yep. you're viewing their situation the way you're yep. viewing it because you're on the outside looking in. Yep. So that, you that, never really know somebody's yep. life circumstances yep. unless right. you're, you've lived it. So or how, so how should a man look at a single mom know? today in society? I feel like a man, when they're looking at a woman that has a child, I feel like if they don't want to be with a woman that has a child, then they shouldn't look at her. And there's other men that will look at her. Yep. That's how so, I look at so, it. So that's the Nicole, that's the point, right? That's why a woman should date broke, short, living on their mama. Like no, they, because they, there no, are no, no, Nicole, no, no, Nicole, no, Nicole, no, Nicole, listen to me. Nicole, listen to me. Okay, you have to wait your turn now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on you guys. Let Patty and Nicole. Nicole, Talk I about. gave you time, right? If baby mamas deserve understanding and we should have our heart open because we never know their circumstances, you don't know why he's broke. You don't know why he doesn't have a good job. You don't know why he doesn't have a, a drive a nice car. So you actually should date him and have kids with him and do everything like he's the king of the world I'm because not. everybody deserves love. Nobody deserves shit. 